Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules, everybody. Here is the Jabari Panther tutorial. But as I usually like to do before I get into the tutorial, let's take a little bit of a look at what Jabari can do. I'm gonna show you a couple of little highlights, some gameplay taken out of a variety of content, some EQ, some LOL, some other random stuff. Get a little bit of fun. Some of the clips in the videos I'm going to be showing synergy. Some I will be showing as we go. I'll also be giving a rundown on the synergies at the end of the video. So if you're not too sure why something might be going on, that might be the answer. And we're going to take a nice look at that. So as we get a good idea and see all those red numbers just melting away, just ba -ba 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 boom, let us now get into the tutorial. We were going to start off with cleanse. So for cleanse, gain on stacking cleanse for two seconds when champion with cleanse is inflicted with a debuff, it is immediately pure. So each hit you get a cleanse when fighting as a defender. If Jabari Panther purifies a stun debuff, this goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. So you keep doing the hits. You see how it keeps showing. It's at 2 actually because of synergy. I'm going to show that, show that synergy in a moment instead of 1 cleanse. But you see how when we got that cleanse, you see how those incinerates went away. And you see this synergy right here with the Black Panther Kim Longer is what lets you get two instead of one. So something you may or may not want to use. Nowadays, Black Panther is pretty dang good. So look right here and see how the cleanse took away those debuffs. Let's look at critical hits. Inflict a bleed debuff, dealing the direct damage over seven seconds. Now we'll scale, so every time we get those critical hits, you see those bleeds going on up. When the hunt is going on, it's much easier to stack those bleeds. You see those bleeds while hunt is on, and I'll explain the hunt and hunter's charges in a few quick moments. But you will see how you can get some massive bleed stacking going on there. All about those nice critical hits. Let's go into the Huntress now. So Huntress, so this is what no matter where they run or hide, gain a Huntress charge when attacking a stunned or ensnared opponent. You can get ensnared with an S1, so you can do S1 and do that. Uh, you can gain 3 when Jabari Panther purifies a debuff. After getting charges, no matter what, they wait 1.25 seconds, so you can't keep doing it, or there's going to be a little pause. You lose two Huntress charges whenever the opponent gains the prowess, buff, or passive. So mainly stun and hit, you got to wait about one and a quarter seconds in between to gain more. You can do, if you, especially if you're not running suicides, you can spam S1s, keep that ensnare going on to get those Huntress charges easier. Another way I like, you see right here, watch these intercept. With this synergy, you can either use Tigger or Elsa. When you do the nice little inter intercept, again, you got that one and a quarter second cooldown, you gain a Huntress charge. So depending on the way, there's a few different ways to get those Huntress charges. Once you get 10, the hunt is activated. The hunt, how fun. So when this is on, Jabari becomes stun immune against precision buff. We see they greatly increase in critical rating by 8200. The opponent cannot trigger dexterity, master, evade, or cause attacks to miss. So great counter there. Jabari purifies a debuff or fails a miss, gain hunt, and all fury buffs and Jabari Panther for two seconds. And inflicting bleeds pauses the bleeds for half a second as well. So I saw a whole lot going on there. You see there's no damage going on. Morales right here. This was one of those uh, no damage on basic attack fights. Only our special was this using it to kind of find a nice easy miles to show you the ability. You see some good damage here on the Nova going on. We are able to, again, you can use those end once for ensnare to do some pretty cool stuff. Their heavy attacks and bleed. If hunt is active, each bleed debuff on the opponent has a 50% chance to afflict another bleed. I'm going to use this. I'm going to show this a lot more in the tips. So there's going to be a combination between doing the critical damage to include when your critical rating is the highest generally when the hunt is going on and properly timing your heavy. Keep in mind, once you use that heavy, your hunt goes away. So you don't want to do it too early in the hunt or you're going to lose a lot of critical. So it's going to be a matter of balance of timing. And as I progress in the video i'm going to show you a little bit on how we do that but that's a big part of stacking up those bleeds which causes all that good damage special attacks any special attack in the hunt within one second of each other grants a non-stacking fury giving a nice fury boost so well, i'm going to show you some tips on this as well really you want to have the hunt and a special activated within one second of each other there's a really easy way to do it i'm going to show you in a bit at least a preferred way and what that is is it gives you a fury so again another way if you're able to stack some 
some of these things together, you're able to get some very, very awesome damage going on. Again, we're seeing some of these fights right on over here. We see that ensnared going on and getting those extra bleeds as well. And hitting up on that Nova. And see when we go ahead and hit in there, we throw the special. See, we've got a lot of bleeds going on. He's coming in at me. And now we're going to go into special two. Here the hunt is paused during this attack. So it will be paused on there. So again, I'm showing on the S1. S1 is great for snail. That's a great way to build up those Huntress charges and it fight evaders. Special two can get you some dang good damage. However, it can also give you the extra bonus of pausing the hunt so it can stay on a little bit longer. You don't get penalized. You look at all those DOT just melting away. Just beep, 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 Bleed out, fool. Let's go into special three. One of my personal, I always love uh, champs who use good special threes. So this one, hunt activates. The opponent is also stunned for four and a half seconds. A lot of time to hit those crits in. Gain three permanent huntress charges that are not removed when the hunt triggers max six. So I'm going to show you about this on tips. So if you do a cup, start off with a couple S threes, you can do some good stuff. Very good stuff, and it makes it easier to build her back up. Very easy with those S3. Signature ability, duration of the hunt is increased by half a second. Uh, this is going to scale, when Jabari Panther would gain 100 stars while the hunt is active. She instead gains an indefinite counter punch. These go, uh, 50 signatures they are obtained is going to increase. The counter punch is spent to gain an unstoppable for three quarters of a second when blocking an attack. So I would definitely not say she is dependent on her signature ability by any stretch of the imagination. Can give her a little bit, can give her a little unstoppable. Synergies. I've been using some of these synergies on some of the clips of the bid. We see stun debuffs are inflicted for an extra 0.7 seconds with that synergy. A lot more time. Gain an additional cleanse passive. So instead of one, you get two with a synergy. I showed that one earlier. Here, we will gain a Huntress charge when intercepting the opponent. Great way. She's fun to intercept with. Great way to build up those charges. Showed that synergy earlier. Here, gain precision buff during special attacks for damage debuff and stagger passive increase. And then we see an ability accuracy increase. So, tips for using him, using her, Jabbar Panther. So, S1, use it or hunt mode to easily counter evade. Remember, hunt mode can also be used to avoid misses. Even Dex doesn't work when hunt mode is on. So, she is great for they're giving you a hard time, you're having a hard time hitting them. You can use their use that S1 and over the hunt mode to just shut them down. Tip two, time activation of the hunt with the special. Launch special immediately after the 10th hunter's charge for a fury buff. Again, one second within each, you get that fury more damage. The easiest way for me, I've been finding, is just have the S3 ready. I'll get an S3 ready. I like S3s to start off with her anyways. Once I have the S3 ready, I'll then just build my way up to, I'll keep an eye on it. Once I am at nine of the hunter's charges and I'm about to get my 10th, as soon as I get that 10th, I immediately hit the special three. And then it makes a big deal there. Tip three, melt defender with this rotation. Kind of a longer rotation, so I'm going to take it piece by piece, at least the way I like it. Follow along to catch it all. But what I do is I start with an S3. I get the, to the hunt activation. I get the 10. I get the hunt activation. I do an S3. You see the sun? I'm just doing as many hits as I can. Before that sun wears off while the hunt is still up, I go ahead and do a heavy. And you see all those bleeds right there. So again, I got the hunt. I did the S3. I launch as many hits as I can with the critical increase, getting the bleeds before. Before the stun is over, before the hunt is over, I went ahead and did the heavy, got those bleeds even higher, and we saw how much damage. This is only an R4-5 star, by the way. You saw how much damage I melted off him. I'm going to do the same again. It's quicker this time because after that S3, I started with three permanent charges. After this next one, I'm going to get three more, and I'm going to start for the rest of the fight with six permanent of those Huntress charges, meaning you can get back to the hunt very, very easy in less than half the time as it would normally take. So I'm going to be doing again. I'm working my way back up to 10. I'm almost at 10. I'm working my way to S3. I had the S3. Then I went ahead, and as soon as I activated the hunt, immediately I hit that S3. I'm, it's going to give me that Fury. I'm going to get this stun. I'm going to do a whole bunch of hits in there with them being crit. Each crit is a bleed. You see all those bleeds going in there. I'm going to get an easy stun. 
stunt, an easy heavy right before the stunt ends and you see those bleeds go up even higher. I could risk trying to get a few more crits in with the hunt still active, but it gets a little risky that I might not be able to get the heavy in time because I want to get those extra bleeds. From there, you can keep doing that rotation, go to some S2s. Remember, a lot easier after you got the six permanent going on for there. Don't forget to click that top left icon, subscribe to MCOC Al Bundy Rolls. Do not forget to click my champ tutorial playlist, check more of my tutorials, turn on those notifications, check out the other content. Thanks so much for watching.